Hi friends, welcome back to our table. Okay, first of all, you shouldn't have as much trouble with the fountain because I filled it more. The, the more you fill it, the less bubbling you hear, but you can sure see it, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so I hope that solves that problem. Um, I am really angry, y'all. Of course, I predicted that Trump was going to get COVID, and he did. And then everybody kept telling me, no, Marie, he's lying. You know, it's not true. He doesn't have COVID. And I'm like, I, I predicted he would get COVID. And now you're telling me I'm wrong that he even has it. He's not really in the hospital. He's at Camp David. It just went on and on and on and on. <laughs> and I'm like, well, this is crazy. Well, today we find out that Mark Meadows told someone, I don't know if it was a paper, if it was the January 6th commission, told someone that Trump had COVID, it tested positive for COVID when he had the debate with Biden. Y'all, this makes me so mad because you're endangering people's lives. Why do we continue to let this man get away with everything? This is just my opinion, but why do we continue to let him get away with everything? I am so fed up with this. I'm just fed up. You know, Biden is an elderly man also. He's older than Trump. And for Trump to have COVID and just not care and go out there, he didn't care about anybody. But where were the other people who knew? His family who knew and then show up and they don't have a mask on when they're supposed to. Trump shows up and, oh, well, we don't have time. Why was that okay? You got time for us to do a test. We'll make time. I don't get this. And this has really made me mad. This is really friggin' maddening because people got sick. He continued to affect people. People continued to get sick. I don't understand. And the people who knew, like Meadows, who else knew? Who else knew Trump had tested positive and was going around with COVID? Anyway, I'm just furious about this. I... I don't know why we continue to let this man get away with everything, but I have to calm down because I'm now on high blood pressure medication because my blood pressure went, I mean, literally sky high. <laughs> and I'm sick and on antibiotics, my God. And yet this just infuriated me. But that's not why we're here. That's not why. Well, it is kind of why. Because I do want to know if... Anybody is going to be punished for not telling people that Trump had tested positive. I do want to check that out. But listening to the Supreme Court on um, Roe versus Wade, y'all, I got a bad feeling. That's what I want to read on. I'm getting a bad feeling just listening to the. But sometimes I just get a bad feeling on the card say something else. <laughs> Let's hope oh, a card say something else because I have a bad feeling. And I'm sure y'all will let me know about the candle and if it's still too loud. It shouldn't be. Is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? Is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? Is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? Is, is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? Gonna bring that down there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? Is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? Is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? Is the Supreme Court going to reverse Roe versus Wade? There were some I wanted to put them on, and that's reversing the judgment and the Queen of Coins. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Maybe I'll get a different feeling as I pick them up and read them. Okay. So, the first card is the Ten of Coins. Okay. So... I'm, I'm picking up several things from this card. It could also be from the Nine of Swords. Okay. So, it's about um, money, but family, too. Which is kind of making sense. Oh, God. This is why the Republicans were put in office. This is why they were given money to undo the nightmare of abortion in the Republicans' eyes. I hope you understand what I'm saying. The Ace of Swords is truth. It's also a yes card. Are they going to reverse it? I have the Five of Pentacles reversed and Temperance. So, the Temperance is basically about balance, um, fairness, and caring. I a lot of times will get caring from the Temperance card. I don't know why, I just do. Um, the Five of Pentacles is someone who is left behind or left out. Now, the way I'm feeling these two together is to care about the unborn and not, which is why it's reversed, not leave them out in the cold. Y'all, it's gonna, it's gonna get reversed. I, uh, you're gonna hate me. The tower moment. It's gonna get reversed. Judgment is reversed with the Queen of Coins. Again, to me, this is about money, where money has been put, where money has been placed, and the reason for it. So the judgment is not going to be what we want it to be. The Fool is reversed. The Seven of Cups. Now, to me, that's choices. I'm just going to say, because there's no delusion here. It's literally choice. Which choice do you go with? The woman's right to choose is the choice, right? It's the full reversed. Now, I could tell you that maybe this is, that there's not a new beginning. But that's not what it is. It's about... It's been foolish enough. They're, they're gonna, they're gonna overturn it. I didn't want this to be honestly, y'all. I didn't. And then we have the five of cups. It's not. There's going to be an opening. Now, <clears throat> here we go with this five of cups again. I always say you lose more than you gain. Yeah, three of them are ruined, but you have two. You lose more than you gain. So in the row versus Wade, we'll lose more than we gain, but we will still have something there. So it's not a total. Um, there will be something. It may be, I'm going to go back to the family car. It may be that 
in cases of incest or the life of a person that they will allow and the rest of it will get overturned. I just had a bad feeling. I thought, ooh, this, this doesn't feel good. Maybe the cards will tell me something else. They didn't. They didn't. So, in cases of incest or rape, or if your life is, the mother's life is in danger, those, I think they're going to allow abortions. The rest of it's going to go. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. That's, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. Um, I was just hoping to be wrong. I know others are saying it's going to be okay because it's unconstitutional. Hopefully they're right and I'm wrong. And I have no problem with that. I'm not, I'm not getting that. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is there going... I haven't asked the question yet. Is there going... Is anyone going to get in trouble for not telling that Trump tested positive for COVID? Is anyone going to get in trouble for not telling that Trump tested positive for COVID. Is anyone going to get in trouble? Anyone? Whoa, 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 whoa. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're still wanting to come out. Okay. Five. Just do them. going to get in trouble for not telling that Co Trump had COVID? Is anyone going to get in trouble for not telling Trump had COVID? Is anyone going to get in trouble? doesn't matter. There, there's just nothing going to happen. Giving up. Nobody's going to hold anybody accountable. They just gave up. Went on their way. This is not right. People should be held accountable. And underneath that, I got the Four of Swords reversed. They'll be free. They will... Okay. I'm getting something from this little card. They will have their own guilt to bear and carry. The people. Not that anyone's doing anything about it. It's like it's done, it's over with. They, No. But they will have their own guilt. You think? God. The devil. They just went along with him. If somebody got sick and died, oh well. There's a sickness here. There is a absolute sickness here that we cannot understand and we're never going to understand it, friends. The three of coins. It didn't pay to tell the truth. That's exactly what this just, just said to me. Didn't pay to tell the truth. Probably true. Victory. They thought they'd win. I think they thought they would win. You know what? Because I'm getting from this is they thought they would win the debate. It was close. They may have actually won the debate. I don't know. Because there's victory here. Either they thought they would win the debate or they did. I don't know. It was close. The Knight of Coins. 
They were just off and running. And not really giving. Okay, just just hang on here a minute. How do you not think about the people? When the people are the pe the reason why you're in office and you have a friggin' job in the government, how do you not think about the people? <sighs> the Queen of Rods is reversed, so there's no reason, fairness, sternness. It's just all <laughs> part of the territory. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm furious about it. I'm furious that we keep letting Trump and all of those people get away with stuff. When is enough enough? He's going to jail over the January 6th stuff. I'm telling you. He's going to jail over the Jan... That's something I should do. Really quick. I may have to get that card back out. Is Trump and his family going to run to keep from going to jail over the January 6th insurrection? Is Trump and his family... It's coming fast. What? They're looking. They're trying to make a choice. It's like they're, they're not sure what choice to make. Um... They have to make a choice, though. Okay. The star. It needs to happen quickly. They need to make a decision. And the star. There's hope. Trump and his family go somewhere else to keep from going to jail over the January 6th. And that's a yes. Okay, and the same, the eight of wands, rods, and the seven of coins. I don't, <laughs> I'm not real sure. Okay, so we have the Eight of Clubs, or, or Rods, and the King of Rods. So whatever's going to happen is going to happen fast. There is some kind of control going on. It's like they're planning something or they have a plan, but for some reason it doesn't. They have to make a choice, the two of rods. They have to make a choice. They have to make a decision. And the ace is saying, yes, they will. And this is funny. This is what's confused me more than anything. The star. And again, the eight of rods um, reversed. And the seven of coins reversed. So all of their hard work is going to go. It's like they know. Okay, here's what I, I think. I think I'm getting it. Here's what, y'all, here's what's happening. They realize they're in trouble. But it may be too late. They, yeah, they're, they want to. They're you know, they realize they need to, and like, yeah, we need to do it now. Uh, but it's almost like it's too late. But because of the star, there's still a possibility that they make it. I don't know. So maybe that makes sense for why I see him going to jail. I know he's guilty and he should be going to jail. But maybe they flee the country. I, it, it, this doesn't really. I mean, I could guess, you know. Um, it's going to happen fast. They're going to have to make a decision. They've made their decision, and I believe the star card is yes. But 
these two cards reversed out of time and all of your hard work for nothing because it's they're both reversed. So it may be, yeah, you're going to finally decide it's too late. You know what? I'm still going to say it's going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. I don't care if I'm wrong. I think he's going to jail. <laughs> All right. Okay. I will pull a card. I won't um, do a reading today. But I will pull a card and, and read it for us because I wanted to do these two things. So as you can see, you know, depending on what's going on, as to what I do. Okay. Here we go. Message. Message for my viewers. Message for all my viewers out there. Message for all my viewers out there. Okay. Right here. Oh, what the heck does <laughs> Even with my glasses, I'm like, ugh. Enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the enjoyment, the more the enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. Oh, I like that. We'll just read that again. That's good. Enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. I like that. Yeah, that's good. It also kind of makes sense because, you know, if you're striving to be at the top or something, you're work and before you know it, half of your life or most of your life is gone and you're looking back and what did you do it for? Well, you got that job or position you have, but now you're a little old and tired of it. And you're going to have to, and you spent all that time. So yeah, let's just love, love enjoyment. <laughs> let's do that. I hear, I hear somebody's little balls. Hello, honey bunch. I'll bring y'all down so you can kind of see her here. Yeah. There, come here, diamond girl. Yes. That's our diamond girl. Say hello to everybody. We say hello. We love everyone. Yes, we do. What? What? What you doing, Dad? What you want? Yeah. Say bye bye. Say hi. They love you. Come on. They love you. Come on. Come on. They love you. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. I, uh, okay, y'all. I think I'm gone. Go lay down and rest. Okay? So, I love y'all. Be respectful and loving of everyone, no matter how difficult it might be. Till the next time, friends. Thank you.